children as i have defined about maps in the previous class that maps are the pictures of the earth surface maps are drawn on the basis of information millions of maps are used throughout the world maps represent physical features annual rainfall vegetation etc map indicate the direction with the help of compass rows that is north south east and west maps are classified on the basis of scale used for drawing the maps scale is useful for estimating distances maps are of various types such as political map physical map thematic climate topographic economic historical etc but some of the most common types of maps are physical map political maps and thematic maps the first type of map is physical map physical maps show the shape of landforms and its features such as mountains peaks plateau plains rivers and more this is the picture of a physical map and as you can see in the picture various colors and shades are used these colors are used to show the features of various landforms so let's understand how green color usually indicates lower elevations while brown color usually indicates higher elevations lower elevation means less plain areas higher elevation means mountain areas hilly areas like so where we see brown color himalayas are situated and dark green color represents northern plain areas and light green color represents coastal plain areas light brown or orange color indicates plateaus as plateaus are less elevated than mountains yellow color shows desert areas rivers lakes seas and oceans are usually shown in blue color light blue color for the most shallow areas such as lakes rivers etc and dark blue color for deeper areas such as seas and oceans white color shows snow areas so children this is a picture of a physical map which you use in the school for your practice work so another important type of map is political maps this is the picture of a political map and as you can see in the picture they show the geographic boundaries between governmental units such as countries states cities towns and villages political maps help to understand the world on the political basis political maps label capital cities and other important cities within a state or country as you can see children in the picture that states names are mentioned along with their capitals so this is a political map of india and this is a political map of the world the third type of map is thematic map thematic maps means maps which are based on some theme so thematic maps are based on specific theme or special topic such as roads railways rainfall climate soil wildlife natural vegetation distribution of industries distribution of minerals population etc so children we will understand the thematic maps with the help of some examples this thematic map gives us the information about the climate of india this map shows the major soil types in india this map shows the annual average rainfall of india this map shows the habitat of wildlife of india this map shows the road and railways network of india this thematic map shows 
द स्टेट वाइज पॉपुलेशन ऑफ इंडिया सो चिल्ड्रेन थेमेटिक मैप कैन बी रिप्रेजेंट ऑन बोथ फिजिकल मैप एंड एज वेल एज पॉलिटिकल मैप सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द रिप्रेजेंटेशन वाइज देर आर बेसिकली टू टाइप्स ऑफ मैप्स पॉलिटिकल मैप एंड फिजिकल मैप्स ऑल अदर मैप्स आर रिप्रेजेंटेड ऑन द पॉलिटिकल इधर ऑन फिजिकल मैप अ मैप इज क्लासिफाइड एज स्मॉल स्केल मैप्स और लार्ज स्केल मैप्स स्मॉल स्केल मैप शो वेरी लार्ज एरियाज ऑन अ सिंगल मैप दे कैन नॉट शो डिटेल्स एज वी कैन सी इन द एटलस वर्ल्ड मैप और मैप्स ऑफ कंट्रीज और कॉन्टिनेंट्स ओशंस एक्सेट्रा इन स्मॉल स्केल मैप्स द रेशो ऑफ द स्केल इज वन इज टू वन करोड़ और वन सेंटीमीटर इज इक्वल टू थाउजेंड किलोमीटर टेकन लार्ज स्केल मैप शो स्मॉल एरियाज विद ग्रेट डिटेल्स एग्जाम्पल गाइड मैप्स ऑफ सिटीज अ बिल्डिंग मैप और अ मैप ऑफ अ कॉलोनी और अ टाउन एक्सेट्रा चिल्ड्रेन एज वी सी इन द गूगल मैप्स वाइल सर्चिंग फॉर एनी प्लेस ईच एंड एवरी मिनिट डिटेल इज गिवन इन गूगल डिटेल वेदर इट इज अबाउट एनी कॉलोनी और एनी लैंडमार्क एवरीथिंग इज वेरी विजिबल एंड क्लियर सो दिस टाइप ऑफ मैप आर कॉल्ड लार्ज स्केल मैप्स द रेशो ऑफ द स्केल इज यूज वन इज टू हंड्रेड और वन सेंटीमीटर इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड मीटर्स सो चिल्ड्रेन वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन स्मॉल स्केल मैप्स एंड लार्ज स्केल मैप्स स्मॉल स्केल मैप शो वेरी लार्ज एरियाज ऑन अ सिंगल मैप विथ लेस डिटेल्स एंड लार्ज स्केल मैप शो स्मॉल एरियाज विथ ग्रेट डिटेल्स ओके एवरी मैप कंटेन सम फीचर्स और कॉम्पोनेंट्स और वी कैन से दीज आर अ पार्ट ऑफ अ मैप दीज फीचर्स मेक इट इजियर फॉर पीपल टू अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ मैप्स डिफरेंट एलिमेंट्स ऑफ अ मैप प्ले एन इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल इन डिस्क्राइबिंग मैप डिटेल्स सचेस द टाइटल ऑफ अ मैप ग्रेड डायरेक्शन डिस्टेंस सिम्बॉल्स एक्सेट्रा अ मैप हैज थ्री इसेंशियल कॉम्पोनेंट्स डायरेक्शन डिस्टेंस एंड सिम्बॉल्स so we will learn about each one by one directions usually at the top corner of the map you will see that the direction or cardinal points are marked by a vertical line with an arrow pointing to the north direction is a is the most important component of map it is used to describe the direction with reference of cardinal points or we can say cardinal directions these are four major directions north south east and west in between cardinal points or directions there are intermediate directions are mentioned these are north east south east south west and north west they are also called ordinal directions so children if we are having map it's easy to find out the direction the correct direction with the help of map but directions are useful in our daily life also such as when we want to go to an unknown area we need to find direction to reach our destination so how we will come to know the correct direction so there are many ways to find directions such as by finding the direction of the rising sun as it represents east because the sun rises from the east so if your hand pointing to the rising sun that will be east so your left hand would be pointing to the west and your front will be pointing towards north and your back will be pointing towards south so this will help you to locate all the direction the another way is by looking at the pole star in the night sky because during the daytime sun will be there but at night you won't be able to find the direction with the help of sun so what will help you the pole star because 
the pole star is vertically above the north pole always so it will help you to find out the north direction the another way of finding direction is by using a magnetic compass with north south direction i know we generally don't carry a magnetic compass with us but nowadays we are having mobile facilities with us so it will help us to show the north direction the second component of map is map scale scale is the ratio between the distance on the map and the actual distance on the ground the distance between any two points on map is measured with a straight line is a map distance let's understand this with one example this is a map of a village you can see point a temple and point b school is represented so point the actual distance between point a and point b is represented by 8.5 cm but the actual distance between point a and b means temple and playground school playground is 8.5 km so how we have taken the distance we have taken 1 km as 1 cm so 8.5 km is converted into 8.5 cm so the actual distance between point a and b is measured with a straight line and this line is known as ground distance and the ground distance between a and b is 8.5 km which is converted into centimeters that is a ratio between the map distance and the ground distance is the scale of the map so 8.5 km is converted into 8.5 centimeters the scale of the map can be represented in the following way by a statement that is 1 cm is equal to 10 km as we have seen in the previous example the second is linear scale where the scale is shown graphically on a map by numbered straight line each division of the scale represents a certain distance on the ground in many maps we will see this type of scale is taken and the third is representative fraction representative fraction means distance on the map divided by distance on the ground so that is if we are taking 1 cm so it will be divided by 10 km so what will be the reference representative fraction that will be 1 is to 10 lakh so there are three types of map scales the third essential component of map is map symbols or conventional signs and symbols maps provide a lot of information information like physical features like mountains peaks rivers forest political boundaries etc they also contain social and cultural features like towns settlements temples churches roads railways bridges etc these all are shown within a map it is not possible to present them in their actual shape and size within the map so it is also not possible to label all the features label means to write about the features like this is metal road this is unmetal road this is forest area or post office or police station like so so we use symbols which are certain letters shades color pictures lines which gives us detailed information in a limited space so to show everything in detail maps need to use a wide variety of signs symbols color letters to show all different features without making the map clumsy without making the map untidy for example blue color represent water bodies green represent forest or agricultural fields many symbols are called keys or legends also 
as these help to understand the information given within the map these signs and symbols are accepted universally and are known as conventional signs and symbols the key to use these conventional sign is usually shown at the base of the map so children sketch and plan are also a kind of map but their features are different from map so let's learn what is the difference between a sketch and a plan and how they are different from a map sketch is a rough drawing on an area based on memory and field observation it is not drawn to the scale not drawn to the scale means we don't take any particular ratio like 1 cm is equal to 1 km like so so it is a simple map that shows only some landmarks it does not show the true shape or size of the feature a sketch can be used to study some particular features such as road network for example you may draw a sketch map to tell a friend the direction to your house so this is the sketch which you draw to your friend to tell the direction of your house so you tell her that she has to take left turn from her lane and after moving ahead she will find some shops and a supermarket at the right side from there she has to turn right and her house will be there at the end of the lane so in this way you will give your location to your friend or to someone else so this is called a sketch a drawing of a small area on a large scale is called a plan it is drawn to the scale means we take proper measurement of scale like 1 cm is equal to 1 meter so it is drawn to a proper scale it is useful for representing those things that cannot be represented in a map for example when we construct a house we need an accurate layout showing length and breadth of rooms position of doors and windows actual distance of the main road from the house etc so we can say this it tells us exactly how the things are on the ground so a plan is accurate presentation of an area which shows all minor details so this because in the map you can see where your house is located but you are not able to see in the map how it is planned from inside so this type of plan are made by architectures for constructing a house or a building